Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the interval list intersections problem from lead code. So the problem statement is pretty much good and uh, the variation of this problem is asked in a lot of intervals. So stay focused on this particular problem. Let us go with the problem statement first. You are given two lists of close intervals, first list and second list. And the first list has start of i, end of i for every interval it has. So let us take some example here. As you can see here is that you are given two lists. Uh, a and B, which can be depicted as first list and second list. Now these lists has different intervals as you can see. And every interval is marked by a start interval and an end. So ith interval in a particular list is marked by the start and the end. So as you can see here as well, that it starts from the zeroth point and end at two. Start from the fifth point and end at 10 and so on. Okay, now uh, you are given all these intervals and you have to find out in the end, intersection of these two interval lists as you can see here that there is an intersection between these at this particular point that is intersection this is, this is an intersection here this is an intersection here and so on so now you are given two lists and you have to also return these intersection in the same format as the input list that in a in a form of intervals in the answer vector now that's a complete logic now how you can, how you can do that the very brute force way first can you think of a very brute force way the very brute force way is that you have to find out intersections. So what you can do is that it over the first array. And let's say you make an array. You make a completely empty array of, uh, of a, a very large size and keep on marking the intervals as one. Well. Let's take some example also. Let's take some example of a brute force way first. Let's say that you will make a very large empty array. Okay, now everything is initialized to zero. Now what you'll do is that you said that one of my segment is from here till here. That is let's say from one to zero, one, two, three, four, five, till five. Okay, so what you'll do is that you'll iterate over all these blocks and mark it as one. Similarly, another, another segment can be this. So you mark it as one. And so on. Now, when you have the next list, the next list can be have elements like this. The, the, the intersection segment can be like this. So now you will again mark this segment as one. Increment these values one by one again. But this is zero, so it will become one. This will become two. Now, in simple terms, what you can see is whatever mark as two means that this particular block block has been traversed two times. By two times, it means that it is overridden by two segments, which means that it is common between two segments. So if it is common between two segments, whatever is two is the common part. Okay, this is not two. Oh, oh, let's say if I mark it like this. I hope you understand what's the brute force here, but that requires iterating with all the, you can say segments creating this a very large array itself. But as you can see here that uh, we cannot do this for this particular constraints. So what's the next good way? The good way is that we have these two intervals and we can iterate over these intervals one by one. And for them, we can use two pointer technique. Remember that, that it's a very, uh, like good concept that you can learn that you can use two pointers here. Now let us understand how we can use two pointers within this example only. Let's draw a number line like this only. And let's draw some blocks here like this. One block is here. I'm just drawing it out on it any random. Okay. Not according to the problem statement. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's take this as smaller. Now what you can do here is that you can take two pointers. One pointer is pointing to the first interval, the first interval, the complete interval. And the next pointer 
is pointing towards the first interval of the next list. So these are two pointers. Now, how you can find out the common between these two intervals? So we just have to first check that I have two pointers and these two pointers are pointing towards two random. I do not know which, but th these are pointing towards two intervals. Can we somehow find out that there is some common intersection? The common intersection between them is this. How we can find out? We can find out using, you can say here that this interval, we'll have to find out the maximum of the left of both of these intervals, the maximum of both. So this is, let's say zero, this is one. So maximum with this one. And the so maximum of the left part of both of these intervals and the minimum of the right part. So minimum, so let's say this is, let's say uh, one, two, three, this is three and this is four. So the minimum of both of them is this. This is the, and if both of these values, the minimum of the left part, of both of these intervals and the maximum of the right part of both of these intervals, if they are having some space between them, then that is the interval that is common between them. Now we have the common interval between these two intervals. We have that is fine. We will store that in some particular vector that we have and we got some intersections. Now how to move forward? Which pointer to move, move now? Because in a two pointer technique, generally what we'll do is that we'll find out some intersection and depending on the constraints, we'll move either one of the con like pointer to the right hand side. Now, which pointer to move? As you can see here that the red block is like which one ended first. If I'm moving, let's say from left to right, which one ended first? The right one ended first or the blue one ended first? Here you can see the, the red one ended first because it is ending at let's say three and this is ending at four. Why? Because let's say this is a larger one. Blue one is larger one. Let's say the blue one is like this, which ensures that it could have some intersection with the red one as well. The next red one, because this is the larger one. If this is a larger one, how we can tell it? It's the larger one if its right point, its right point is much more on the right hand side. If it is like much larger. If it is much larger, we should not leave this. I will move this interval and compare this interval and this interval now. That is compare uh, this interval and this interval now. And move my right pointer from here to here. So now we are comparing this interval and this interval. That's a complete logic here that we have to move the pointer which is smaller, which is like left behind. The one that is the larger interval should not be moved. Now this, if I'm comparing this interval, as you can see this interval and this interval, which one is more on the right hand side, right side. This one is more on the right hand side. This one is not more on the right hand side. So now we'll move the blue one. So we will only take the one that is more on the right side. We will not take it because it has the more capability to match with all the other uh, intervals, but one which is on like not, uh, you can exceedingly not exceeds uh, will be moved. Okay. That's a complete logic here. Let's move on to the code part now. What you can see here is that we have this answer vector that will store all the intersections of the two list. This is I and J marking out the two pointers, which is editing over the two list, uh, the intervals over all these lists. I is on the A or like first list, B or J will be on the second list. Then we are doing a while loop. This while loop ensures that we will keep on moving the pointers until any one of the pointers move out of bound. If any one of the pointers move out of bound, which means that now we are comparing uh, no pointers with nothing. So we'll have to like uh, break out this while loop. Now, if we have two pointers, what we'll do is that we'll have to find out the maximum of the left pointers and minimum of the right pointers. And if it is having some values in between, which means that it has some, uh, you can say that uh, it has some space in between them, which means that it can comprise of some uh, segment. So you will push that particular interval inside some vector, that answer vector, and we've got some particular intersection between these two uh, list intervals, uh, intervals in inside these two lists. 
now which pointer to move the one which is having the right pointer smaller one so if the the first lift i right pointer i its pointer is smaller then move the ith value or else move the gs value pretty much simple that will complete logic and the code part and we'll keep on doing this uh using until this value terminates and then we'll print out the intersection between these two lists that's it that's a complete logical code part for this is done in o of n because like two n you can say because both of these pointers are iterating over once over this complete list uh, but it is eventually turns out to be o of n only and that's a complete logical code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the kind box in this particular video i will see you in the next one coding and bye